probably asked not long ago to share a video on the bow um, that I shoot. I have shot the Fox High Sierra uh, for a number of years. This is built by Ron King of Fox Archery, uh, who's currently out of Enterprise, Oregon. I ordered this bow in December of 2008. It came to me in March of 2009. Uh, the bow is Bacote laminations uh, in the limbs. And then the riser portion is Bacote on the belly side um, of the flare. And the uh, back is Coca Bola. This bow draws. 40, these limbs draw 46 pounds at 28 inches. I've taken a number of critters with this um, bow. In fact, most of the deer on my wall um, are shot with this one. owned a number of bows um, throughout the years. This has definitely been my go-to uh, for a long, long time. Um, I think that as far as what Ron is able to do in terms of quality is just at the, uh, at the upper end, um, that is for sure. When it comes to arrows, again, I'm man of consistency. I've shot the gold tip traditionals for about as long as I can remember. I shoot the 500 spine. I uh, do like the three white feathers. Um, recently tried the uh, gateway uh, feathers with kind of that dappled brown. Um, really does a nice job as far as uh, camouflaging uh, when I'm hunting um, for turkey. I order the custom wraps from uh, one stringer. Uh, they got my handle there at the bottom, kind of a row of the uh, ichthus, uh, the silhouette of um, Christ, uh, and then Ephesians 4 1, or a portion of it, be the life worthy of your calling. Really uh, like that as a life verse. So for me, I like shooting the 100 grain gold tip brass inserts and 125 grain heads. With my 46 pound limbs, I shoot the 500 spine and total arrow weight comes in at just under 500 grains. Uh, nearly all the deer uh, on my wall were taken with the Magnus Snuffer SS, uh, with the exception of Ragweed, which I used the 125 grain Wenzel Woodsman Elite. I do like shooting the three blade heads out of those 46 pound uh, limbs. December of 2021, I sent my bow uh, off to Ron to have a refinish and to make me a second set of limbs. Um, my original limbs uh, and riser had definitely had some love marks after years of being in the woods. In fact, one particular morning I was towing my bow up to uh, a tree stand in the dark and it got hung up. And thinking it was hung up on a limb, I just went to pulling harder to break the limb and keep the bow moving. Turns out it was hung up on a tree step. Uh, and the knurling on that did a, a number on the lower limb. Uh, not so much that it affected the function as I shot a deer with, that, uh, with the bow that morning. So uh, the limbs that I ordered, <clears throat> I ordered them at 41 pounds. Uh, stayed with the same um, Bacote and then had Ron do uh, black glass. Uh, at the flares on uh, the uh, micarta tips that he typically does. You know, I work as a, an occupational therapist and a certified hand and upper extremity therapist doing a lot of work in outpatient. So I see, you know, your um, lateral epicondylopathies and shoulder issues and know that I don't want to be one of those people. And so, you know, trying to keep doing this for as long as possible and being a smaller guy, I really wanted to kind of drop um, in poundage. The limbs, I mean, the draw cycle uh, is just some kind of amazing. Um, and I really don't feel like the bowstring is trying to jump out of my fingers. I can really focus on expanding uh, through my uh, release, which is a great thing. 
Now, because I dropped five pounds uh, in draw weight, I knew that that would stiffen the, the spine. And so I ordered a test kit with different point weights, you know, ranging, I think, all the way up to 250, um, and did some arrow tuning. Uh, the bow really seemed to like uh, 175, so adding that tip weight, of course, weakened the spine, uh, and I'm getting some really nice arrow flight. Furthermore, going from the 46 pounds where I shoot a three-blade broadhead, knowing that I'm going to be needing some added um, energy, I dropped down to a two-blade head, went with the uh, VPA um, two-blade double bevel, and am really excited to see what that broadhead is going to do when it comes to big game. I was hoping to get my first opportunity during turkey season of this last year, but um, arrows found nothing but feather and air on the bird that I got to shoot at. All in all, um, Ron really does make uh, an exceptional bow. Um, great to work with. Um, and again, just in terms of draw cycle, um, how hard it hits, and obviously the most important factor, which is how quiet it shoots. As long as you've got the right arrow set up, I mean, this is, this is a bow that will definitely um, do the work uh, when you need it to. So hope I've covered all the bases. Um, if I haven't, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do what I can to respond to that. So shoot straight and God bless.